I just got my TI Fram MSP EXP 430 FR5739 Experimenters board. Um, it was on sale on TI's website for half off the other day. It was, came to 1450 I ordered it on Friday, and it's now Monday, and I have it. I'll show you demo application for it. As you can see, it's the same packaging as the launch pad. Uh, it came with mail headers pre-populated. It comes with female headers, but you have to solder them on by re and remove the old ones, which is pretty strange. It also came with a surface mount crystal, the exact same as on the launch pad, and it came with uh, these right angle headers for on what TI calls the EZ430 board pin header which is right in there which I had no idea were even on the board including the launch pad uh, so go ahead and show the four demo applications I have this USB cord connected to my computer right now so Apply the power. See the nice LEDs flashing. By hitting switch one, it goes in the different modes. Mode one. I hit the wrong switch. Switch one is mode one. You could two, three, four. Start with that. Hitting switch two puts it in what they call Fram maximum write speed test. Hitting S2 cycles through all the LEDs. It says that the device writes to Fram at more than 100 times faster than traditional flash based devices. And uh, the LEDs increment for every 100 kilobytes of data that is written to the Fram block. So it's moving pretty quickly. Go ahead and move this to mode 2. And this is doing the same thing. It's moving 100 kilobytes of data. So you can see it's moving very, very slow. You'll see the LEDs light up in a bit. But now it's writing at approximately 12 kilobytes per second, which is what they say the maximum speed is of flash-based devices. So you could see how much faster this is compared to new memory and old memory. Uh, mode 3, right here, is probably the coolest one, in my opinion. It's an accelerometer. It starts right in the middle, and if you tilt the board, the LEDs move either way. Eh, pretty much useless, but it does have a nice effect. Mode 4 is temperature sensor just like in the launch pad uh, if you press the switch the LEDs go right in the center if you cool the chip down they go to the left and if you warm the chip up it goes to the right unfortunately the only way I know to warm this up is to blow on it and I'm not going to do that right now so you guys could just use your imagination overall it's a pretty nice device I think it was worth the $14, and I'll go ahead and put it to use and see what I could come up with.